taking back the language, mastering negative forms of phrasal verbs with take. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to tackle a topic that many learners find challenging. The negative form of phrasal verbs with take. If you've been following our series on common phrasal verbs, you know how important these little expressions are in everyday English. Now, it's time to learn how to use them in the negative form. Don't worry, we're here to make it as easy as possible for you. Before we dive into our main topic, let's have a quick recap. The negative form is used when we want to express that something didn't happen, doesn't exist, or isn't true. In English, we usually create the negative form by adding the word not after the auxiliary verb. For example, in the sentence, he doesn't take after his father. Take after is a phrasal verb and doesn't is the auxiliary verb in its negative form. Now, let's move on to our main topic, negative form of phrasal verbs with take. Remember, a phrasal verb is a combination of a verb and one or more prepositions that work as a single verb. Today, we're focusing on those that include the verb take. Here are some common examples. Take after, take off, take up, take down, take in. In negative sentences, these phrasal verbs look like this. He doesn't take after his father. The plane didn't take off due to bad weather. She isn't taking up the offer. They don't take down notes during the lecture. I didn't take in all the information at once. When using the negative form of these phrasal verbs, keep the following tips in mind. Remember to use the correct form of do, do, does, did, depending on the tense and subject of your sentence. Not is placed after the auxiliary verb. The main verb, take, in our case, is always in its base form after do, does, or did. For example, in the sentence, she doesn't take in the scenery, doesn't is the correct form of do. For the third person singular in present tense, not comes right after it, and take is in its base form. There you have it, folks. Now you know how to use phrasal verbs with take in their negative form. Practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to start using these in your daily conversations. As always, remember that learning a language is a journey, and every little step gets you closer to fluency. We hope you found this video helpful, and we can't wait to see you in the next one. Keep up the good work and happy learning!